professor of psychology at Rutgers University in Newark, New Jersey. And um, I've been doing brain imaging during uh, sexual response for a number of years. And uh, in that context, Sandra Liebloom uh, asked me to study uh, women who have a condition called persistent genital arousal disorder, or PGAD, P-G-A-D. And uh, Sandra was a professor at Rutgers University, and that's how she got to ask me, to ask me about it. Um, she identified in 2001 this condition uh, called persistent genital arousal disorder, where, in which um, women feel that they are at the verge of having an orgasm but they can't have, they can't get satisfaction from an orgasm. Sometimes the orgasms make them feel worse. Uh, sometimes uh, they can't get to an orgasm. It's a very, they have a continuous um, genital stimulation that uh, drives them crazy. Uh, uh, the unfortunate thing is that if they tell their doctor, very commonly the doctor says, I wish my, my wife had that problem. Uh, but they're really tormented by it. And um, uh, they say, uh, imagine what it would be like to try to sneeze and you're at the verge of sneezing but you can't sneeze for hours or days or weeks or months. Uh, one woman just wrote to me and said that she's had this problem for 19 years uh, without and, and it's uh, actually some women actually uh, commit suicide from it, drives them to, to suicide. One woman uh, it was written up in the Tampa Times just uh, last, uh, a, few, a few months ago and another woman in Holland uh, last year so, uh, and women say they feel suicidal, it, it drives, them, drives them nuts. Um, and so, uh, I started looking at the brain activity in these women, and I saw that uh, they had actually a lot of activity in the genital sensory cortex, more than normal. Um, and then uh, that word got around, and a doctor called me and said that his wife has PGAD, but she also has a tarlov cyst. And I, I had never heard of a tarlov cyst, uh, so I did some literature uh, uh, review on it, and it turns out that tarlov cysts are like a blister that forms on genital sensory nerves. Uh, and uh, I said, well, this could be, uh, if this is a, a, a blister and it abrades on the, uh, on the spine where the nerves are, the nerve roots, uh, then it could be possibly producing the symptoms. So I asked, um, I got uh, in touch with a, a support group for PGAD, uh, that consists of more than 300 women, and asked them to send me uh, MRIs of their lower spine. These are all women with PGAD. Send me MRIs of their lower spine, and um, I'll, I'll see if they have tarlov cysts, to see if there's a correlation. In the literature, the incidence of tarlov cysts uh, is between uh, 1.2 and 9% of population who come in uh, to uh, the hospitals for lower back problems. So uh, they find tarlosis in up to about 9% of thousands of cases. Um, so I got uh, 18 women sent me their, their MRIs and uh, I consulted with um, Dr. Wei Jen Lee at the medical school, who was a chief of neuroradiology, and um, he had done work on tarlosis. And we found that 12 of the 18 women, 66%, uh, have tarlov cysts. These are 12 of 18 are women with PGAD. So this is a very high correlation, much more than, than in the uh, population in general. Um, and uh, so we thought that the, the way of... Um, uh, here, here is an example of a tarlov cyst. Actually, this is um, a, a more recent finding, is that um, the... Uh, I asked uh, some more women have said since I, I originally did the uh, the 12 of 18 five more I, five more women with PGAD uh, said that uh, they they sent me their MRIs and all five of them have tarlov cysts so that means that a total of, we have now 17 out of 23 women or 73 percent have um, who have PGAD symptoms have tarlov cysts so. Uh, the tarlov cysts are, they, they form as a blister, they're filled with um, uh, cerebrospinal fluid and they, they form in uh, where, the, where the nerve roots enter the spine. This is the sacrum, the, the pelvic bone, very dense bone, and where the, where the uh, nerves from the genitals enter the, the spine, the, um, that's where the blisters are, these tarlov cysts, and they rub, they contain uh, nerve fibers from the genital sensory nerves. 
uh, and um, from the clitoris and the vagina. Uh, so the, the abrasion uh, irritates them and produces the symptoms. So the test of that, we have the correlation, but we also tested it um, collaborating with uh, two doctors at uh, Johns Hopkins uh, Medi Medical School, Donald Long and Sudhir Kathuria. Uh, the idea is if we anesthetize, if we give a local anesthesia to the cyst, will that alleviate the symptoms? Uh, so, so far, uh, this is very recent work, so far we've had two women who we've uh, injected the local anesthetic to the tarlosis and they have immediate relief of the symptoms for the duration of the local anesthetic, like a Novocaine. So it, it lasts for a few hours, they have complete relief, and then it comes back. So, so that's a, um, a confirmation that these tarlosis really are causing the, the, uh, the PGAD symptoms. So we're now uh, trying to uh, continue, expand the, uh, the group and do more testing like that. And there are some procedures that can, that can uh, uh, have a more permanent effect on uh, alleviating the, the PGAD symptoms, which is um, uh, 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 removing the uh, fluid and then uh, either packing it or putting the sealant in. Uh, there are various strategies uh, to deal with the tarlof cysts. Uh, but it's possible that these um, that PGAD is only one of many of the uh, problems. Uh, maybe other kinds of genital pain, pelvic pain syndromes. Uh, there are men who have uh, tarlof cysts, even though it's a much lower percentage. Maybe uh, um, ratio of one to nine. Uh, maybe only 10% of the tarlof cysts are in men, 90% uh, are in women. Something like that. Um, so uh, the testicular pain and uh, uh, erectile dysfunction, uh, vulvodynia, dyspareunia, painful intercourse, all these uh, uh, conditions may be related to, um, to tarlov, uh, tarlov cysts. It just requires more research. Um, one of the, one of the uh, uh, you can see that this is the, the region where the tarlov cysts form is on the genital sensory nerves uh, from uh, sacral 2 and 3 predominantly and you can see that uh, that comes from the clitoris and the vagina. So that's uh, uh, a basis for where the symptoms occur. It also goes along the legs and leg pain, uh, possibly even a restless leg syndrome could be related to the uh, tarlosis. One of the uh, big mistake that, that uh, has been made in the, obviously the women feel that the genital stimulation is abnormal and very troublesome. The mistake is that it's, uh, it's not really coming from the genital region. Uh, so, in other words, injecting local anesthetic to the genital sensory nerves near the, near the uh, clitoris or near the vagina, or even removing the clitoris, surgically removing the clitoris, fails to control the, the PGAD symptoms. And that's because the origin of the problem is close to the spine. So, even though you remove the, the, uh, the skin or the, the tissue where it, it's perceived, that's not where the irritation is occurring. That's not where the cause is. The cause is closer to the spinal cord. And e even if you remove the periphery, the irritation is still irritating the nerves and the people perceive it as coming from the genitals even though it's really being, uh, the real source of irritation is uh, the tarlof cyst near the spinal cord. So uh, an understanding of, of this, uh, this mechanism and this, uh, this uh, problem uh, may have uh, very wide-ranging uh, implications and, and uh, possibly other kinds of uh, genital problems, uh, urinary problems, uh, bowel problems. These are, it's all the same nerves. So they, uh, it may be a more widespread influence uh, of the tarlof cyst than we generally recognize. And many doctors never have heard of tarlof cysts and they've never heard of uh, persistent genital arousal disorder.